something I get asked often is who watches The Watchmen? No, that can't be right. Uh, it's not right. That was the marketing tagline for the movie, The Watchmen. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you, Jake Six. Always here to help. Where do you go when we don't see you? <laughs> it's unclear. <laughs> What is this? What's going on? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What am I Something I do get asked all the time is a question along the lines of, hi Jake, I am hard stuck in veteran or ultra and I just can't move forward. What do I need to do? In this video, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks and some advice on what to do if you're in this position. We have all been there, especially when you're playing a new game like a MOBA. MOBAs are quite difficult, so I hope that I can help you through this process. Like it or leave it, I'm gonna give you my take on what you should do when you are hard stuck at a rank in Pokemon Unite. Was like it or leave it the best thing you could say there? Almost certainly not. Let me give you my take on what is probably happening, probably if you're hard stuck at a rank. You are playing Pokemon or strategies that are a little too advanced for where you are in the game right now. You might be leaning a little hard on Pokemon you like or strategies that you think kind of work but actually aren't providing the results you want. So let me go over a list of Pokemon briefly that I think you probably shouldn't be playing if you're hard stuck at a rank. A lot of Pokemon show their difficulty above here and while I don't fully agree with this, oftentimes Pokemon that are listed as expert are things that you should probably stay away from when you start playing Pokemon Unite. These Pokemon are more difficult to master and oftentimes they are what are known as carry Pokemon and if you are playing carry Pokemon, like Greninja or Gengar or something like that, and you're having a hard time climbing in rank, it's because you're not sure how to carry inside of this game yet, and it's one of the hardest things to do, to be a hyper carry and KO everyone on the enemy team. We all wanna get those big Penta KOs, but if you're hard stuck, at Vet Ultra, I would highly recommend staying away from expert Pokemon. In fact, let me just go through the roster really quick here, and I'm gonna tell you what Pokemon you could probably lean into and what ones you should probably stay away from. Dodrio, stay away from it. Venusaur, that wouldn't be too bad. Charizard, yeah, it's okay, but it's not in a great spot right now. Blastoise is fine, it's a tank, you could probably play it. Pikachu, looking pretty good. Clefable, not a bad choice. Alolan Ninetales is just not the best Pokemon right now, I wouldn't recommend it. Wigglytuff, pretty good choice. Machamp, it's borderline, I would say, on Machamp. Slowbro, good choice if you're hard stuck at a rank. Gengar, do not play. Blissey, amazing choice. Mr. Mime, pretty good choice as well. Scissor, Scyther, eh, I would probably hang back. Snorlax, good choice. Dragonite, I don't love Dragonite right now. I would honestly stay away from Dragonite. Mew, I would not be playing Mew currently. Azumarill, good choice if you're having trouble. Espeon is borderline because it's a hard Pokemon to win with. I would stay away from it. I would stay away from a lot of attackers, if I'm being honest. Mamoswine, great choice. Tyranitar, uh, I don't think so. Gardevoir, no, I would not be playing Gardevoir. Sableye, uh, is it a world of its own? Uh, Absol, absolutely not. Garchomp, no, I would not be playing it. Lucario, probably not, especially not the extreme speed build. Glaceon, yes, a Pokemon you could play, but again, I'd probably stay away from attackers. Crustle, yes, it's decent if you play it correctly. If you just back cap with Golgetter, please stay away from it. Zoroark, absolutely not. Delphox, no. Greninja, no. Talonflame, no. Aegislash, no. Sylveon, Maybe, because it's a tanky attacker. Tree, yes, tree could be good. Hoopa, eh, maybe, maybe Hoopa. No Decidueye ever, ever, ever. Zarina, no, I would not recommend it. Buzzwool, I would not recommend. Zero Aura is one of the worst choices you could make. Cinderace, no, only if your team needs a carry. Greedon, maybe, it's actually pretty tough, so maybe not. Eldegoss, yes, big yes. Cram, no, Duraludon, no. Uh, Dragapult, Urshifu, no, no, no. So what did a lot of this list have in common? Well, I think you should be playing Pokemon that are supporters and defenders if you can. Stay away from speedsters and for the most part, stay away from attackers. All rounders kind of fall into this weird middle area, but if you're having trouble climbing rank, stay away from carries, lean into supporters and defenders and really learn how to support and defend for your team. Make sure that you're helping your allies because 
Someone on your team needs to get all the KOs, and your job is to make sure that they look like a rock star when you're playing. Something that also could be tripping you up is playing Pokemon with held items that are maybe a little outside of your skill set right now. Stacking items, I would say, are probably not the call if you're having trouble climbing in rank. Keep it simple, stupid, or kiss, as they say. Let's play something basic that's really, really good. So take off that Aos cookie and swap it for something easy like a muscle band and take off those special attack specs and put something a lot more basic on there like a buddy barrier. I recognize this is not the best setup for Slowbro, but if you're having trouble climbing in rank, have simple things that work well. Don't try to play the most complex strategies that are hard to pull off like double stacking or something like that. Play something basic that will help your team. Focus Band is an amazing item, especially if you're playing tanks. Something like Buddy Barrier is always useful for your squad, and something like Muscle Band is good on most every Pokemon. This isn't the build that you need to run in general, but if you're having trouble, get rid of all the silly fluff stuff and start playing something that just is solid and works. Now let me talk about a few things that are happening inside the game that might be hurting you a little bit. One of the biggest things I've noticed is not leveling your Pokemon. It's why playing a Pokemon with an early level or no evolution is really, really nice. So something like Slowbro evolves at level four, really easy to attain, a little bit harder than a Pokemon like let's say Blastoise, who has a three level evolution and sometimes you just get stuck at War Turtle for a long time. Take the opportunity to get experience inside the map. If you lose a top or bottom goal, Audinos spawn on the map, or they used to. They're not Audinos anymore. Indeedee's spawn on the top and bottom of the map. And these give a huge amount of experience. They can get you past those big level breakpoints. Make sure you're taking the time to farm. There are moments throughout the match where there's not an objective in the top path and the bottom path. And sometimes people take this time to just push towards an enemy goal and fight and try to score a couple points. And that is usually a losing play. The better play is looking at your mini map, seeing where all these yellow dots are, playing a little Pac-Man, getting your levels up, getting your Unite move charged, and getting ready for the next big fight with your team. Something I also think you can stay away from is stacking. If you're just starting to learn this game, I don't think you need to throw on top of that the mini game of trying to get all of your stacks on your stacking items. I talked about this a little bit earlier, but it puts you in some pretty bad positions. Instead, focus on getting the last hit on all of the minions inside your lane, all of the wild Pokemon inside of your lane or path as the game calls it. If you're in the bottom path and you have these wild Pokemon, find out what your secure move is. That is your move that does a lot of burst damage at once. For instance, if you're a slow bro, it's going to be your water gun or once you evolve your scald and surf. Find out what that move is and figure out kind of how you can sort of Get the last hit on these wild Pokemon. Notice sort of the level of HP it needs to be at and when you need to throw your move. It doesn't matter if you've done all the damage to it. If another Pokemon gets the last hit, they get the bulk or all of the experience on that Pokemon. So you want to get good at that. You don't need to get that good at stacking right now. This should go without saying, but don't back cap. Back capping is an advanced strategy. There are times it's very, very good. There are a few Pokemon it's very, very good on. In general, leaving a big fight to make a score, especially when you're not communicating with your team, is a recipe for disaster. It's going to seem good. You're going to seem like you put some points on the board and you actually did something. But what you've actually done is put your team in a very, very difficult situation. It's so, so rough to enter a fight where both teams are fighting, they are Pokemon uniting, if you will, and you are not there uniting with them. Instead, you are playing Greninja and you are off scoring in the top path. Most Pokemon, all Pokemon, have a role inside of a fight. If you are Greninja and you are away from the fight, you are taking one of the strongest carry Pokemon in the game that deals a ton of damage and secures KOs, and you are using it to score during one of the most important fights inside the game i implore you please please i beg you don't back cap don't do it don't just don't just stop doing it at all period at all if there was one match you would have won because you would have done it there are 10 matches you would have lost because you're doing it 
I promise you it is a horrible, horrible strategy. Something else that can help you, and I talk about this a lot, is having your Unite move for important fights. So notice when the big fights are happening. Save your Unite move for the objective that's coming up in 20 seconds. Don't just use it right now. Or if you're at about the three minute mark outside of a very small number of Pokemon, don't throw your Unite move. Wait for the fight that is definitely coming here right around two minutes for Rayquaza. And obviously, show up to the fight at the end, get there with your team and try to do your job inside that fight. If you're a defender, try to defend your team, position yourself in front of your allies so you can give them vision and try to block the enemy from getting into some of your softer targets. Or once your team is pushing forward, see what you can do to sort of lock the enemy down with your stuns and CCs. Same kind of goes for support as well. Try to be near your allies, but you're the HP tank. If you're a Blissey, you've got possibly 10,000 HP, as opposed to your Decidueye, who at the most has like 5,000. So make sure that you're positioned in front of the enemies and do everything you can to support your team in winning the fight. A few tips that could always help you, play with friends, play with people you know, play with people who are good at the game and start to develop a strategy that makes sense inside of that. However, if you're playing with a duo and trio and you're consistently losing, I think you need to find a new strategy. And by consistently, I think if you're playing with a duo and trio and you're not at least winning about 60% of your games, your strategy is probably pretty off or you are having phenomenally bad luck. But play things that work, play things that are not super complex and difficult, and you will start seeing results. You will start to climb. I hope that helped. I have more guides coming soon on my channel. I have a big boost emblem video that I've been working on that I think is gonna be really exciting where it's gonna give you the best boost emblems for every Pokemon inside the game. I'm gonna do more held item stuff, but I get this question a lot and I think this could really help you Come back to the basics. Stop trying to make things so advanced. Stop trying to do some play that you saw a professional or some streamer do in a match. Don't try to be this silly thing. Try to do the basic stuff right. Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. If this helped, please let me know in the comments. As always, like, comment, subscribe. It does help me out a lot, and I appreciate everyone that does it on my videos. I try to respond to as many as I can. I definitely try to read them all, and it really does help me, so I appreciate all the support. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.